shifting gears from that initial topic to the drug approval process. We've seen biosimilars come through the pike. We've seen people raise the question of drug costs specifically as line items. And the new administration has, in fact, said that pharmaceutical drug prices are on its radar for some sort of action. So, Elizabeth, do you, do you think changes with the FDA approval process could influence drug prices? And what are your thoughts uh, about um, how this changes the industry for us? Yeah, so I mean, I guess I would say that we are in sort of a unique uh, political time in that we have a Republican president who has uh, been quite outspoken about the role of uh, drug prices in, in uh, medical care and in our society. Um, it really kind of breeds from this very populist uh, nature of the campaign where um, you know, drug costs and healthcare costs were kind of a, a kitchen table issue. So I think in, in DC right now, you have a lot of attention on, on drug prices, uh, in particular medications that uh, take uh, price increases, um, a lot of discussion about importation, negotiation, mm -hmm. all things that we'll talk about today, uh, but perhaps more fascinating and, and um, you know, challenging for the pharmaceutical industry is what's going on at the state level. And so there are there is legislation across the country really focused on um, increasing transparency of drug input costs, um, but then and also in some cases actually controlling drug prices. So you saw uh, the state of New York pass legislation that would actually uh, create a uh, drug kind of price control mechanism in its Medicaid program, and, and that is really uh, the first of its kind and something that you know, could be uh, really a bellwether, an example for other mm -hmm. states to come. So, uh, any, any other input on, on this issue of, of, of navigating this um, potential to change drug pricing? Yeah, I, I, frankly, I think there's just a very uneven playing field right now because competition doesn't exist. Um, there is no incentive, as long as I'm required, and, and most health plans are to cover FDA approved drugs or even drugs listed in a compendium, mm -hmm. there is not really uh, the potential for competition uh, to hold down prices. And, and uh, what, what we see typically is that with each new incremental improvement, <laughs> the, the six weeks of overall survival or progression-free survival, that there is an incremental or non-incremental price increase. And mm -hmm. it's not atypical today to have mm -hmm. drugs cost 15000 or $20,000 a month for a very small increase. And because I don't have the ability to say no. Uh, uh, there is really no uh, limit on the ability of manufacturers to set a price. And, uh, and so speaking about you know, the, the president and his willingness to take on the drug industry, were Medicare given the ability to negotiate drug prices, that would be a substantial game changer, a paradigm changer, simply because most, most payers mirror Medicare's payment so let me ask you that question yeah. just straight out, which is, should the government be allowed to negotiate drug prices? Well, I mean, and that is a, a key debate, I would imagine, mm -hmm. that would unfold over the next uh, 18 months or so uh, in D.C. And, and across the country. I think the interesting thing when we think about uh, negotiation or the government negotiating drug prices, what mm -hmm. do we mean? Mm -hmm. And I think there is sort of a spectrum of what that could look like. And on one end of the spectrum, uh, you have a president who's very active on social media, who has, uh, <laughs> you know, taken... Uh, uh, issue with, with folks like Boeing and, and other uh, commercial entities and their prices. So that's sort of on one end. Mm -hmm. And then I think on the other end, uh, you know, you have a, a scenario where the government is truly negotiating mm -hmm. drug prices um, for all drugs, for all, you know, plans in the Medicare market. Um, that to me seems pretty unlikely. Um, what I think, you know, we may see some activity on really is, um, you know, would the government or the Trump administration consider negotiating drug prices in particular instances where you know there's a medication without a competitor mm -hmm. that's taking a large price increase or that is um, you know really driving a lot of spending for the for the federal government mm -hmm. um, and interestingly that is something that you know may be possible through the Center for Medicare and Medicaid innovation created by the Affordable Care Act so while sort of negotiation is likely pretty toxic in Congress um, should the Trump administration decide to take it on mm -hmm. uh, there are some potential vehicles uh, that don't require congressional approval 